Hello guys, um, I'm not showing you videos of fishing here, uh, believe it or not, I'm going to show you how I get my website up and running uh, behind this uh, Eero router. So we decided to upgrade our internet connection with Frontier. Uh, Frontier is our uh, internet service provider and uh, we upgraded from one gigabyte to two gigabyte and guess what they did not give us the regular router and this is the new thing I guess now the Eero hardware and guess what well, this hardware is really not a good uh, you know option for me because if you can see you only have one ethernet port you can use to connect your house using the you know using the wired connection uh, I think this wireless connection is a big thing now. That's why I believe Eero is built in to, you know, to handle that kind of um, connect, uh, wireless connection. I don't know how how uh, powerful this thing, but so far we have no issue. Oh no, we have some issues. It's down at least once a week. So that's technology, right? It sucks. And yeah, these people are making billions of dollars selling us this, uh, you know, technology. Anyway, um, so my problem was, I have a website, and that website stopped working because um, I have to open a port, the port eighty, and for the my web server and port four four three four SSL. I couldn't figure that out um, you know with the regular router you can go to a web you know web browser and type in whatever the IP address of that router this thing doesn't work so when they install Eron they will ask you to download the app the Eero app right there sorry guys i'm using my wife's um, iphone here to record this video um anyway this video is for those who uh, you know like me have a web server at home and they're hosting their website so click on the arrow and then this is the home page and then you click on settings right there top bottom bottom right and then you click on network settings right there okay and then click on reservations and port forwarding I have already created one reservation so um like you click on this one right here and the I don't know why it's prompting me to go back here um I remember I was able to if you see when I click the, this one right here you have to can manually enter it so yes yeah, so that's so I need I need my nickname is web server and the IP address I have to actually over override it to enter the whatever the port the not port the IP address of that uh, web server the computer that I am hosting on website and then the MAC address I'm not sure about MAC address I don't remember entering that and then once you do that you could click on open well you have to save it before you can click on the open port I cannot do that anymore I mean I cannot do that on this tutorial but 
that's how you do it so you save let's say you save and then you decided to you can actually save it without opening port once you save it right it's gonna remember what the name of that reservation mine is a web server right there so you click on it right and then you can click on open port if you if you see i have already created two port forwarding one for my ssl port 443 and one for my web server port 80 so so in order for you to create that you click on open port and then port name you do your whatever name you wanna call it your port name i called mine ssl and web server and then for ssl i do 443 for the port just 443 not the range and then make sure to select tcp and udp protocol at this don't worry about that i don't know what that is um leave it as is so you save once you save it's gonna take you it's gonna list it under the port forwarding okay and that's all you need to do so the same thing with the web server um see and you do you can name it port adc port udp that's for my web server and then let me show you one more time for the ssl so port name ssl 443 tcp udp okay now let's check if my website is uh working now I tested this so it should work I'm gonna take you to my website where's that now yeah okay I'm gonna use Safari I'm gonna search for but there you go Kamalik Kamalik.com and then I, I prompted you to log in or register um, but you can click on home right here there you go um, then that will take you to my home page um, see I am selling some of my old stuff there uh, that's my golf GPS my postcard and guess what i have a lot of cds music cds in there i'm selling and game games and uh, dvd movies so check it out maybe you can uh, you can uh, find something in there and also there's a lot of bugs in this thing guys so uh, let me know if you uh, if you're able to log in or create your account or register um, yeah, so you have my blogs, you have my poems, you have my gossips, videos, and that's the gossips, the videos. I have my, let me see if I can pull this one up. Yeah, that's the one right there. Okay, and then I have my photos, and this is buy and sell. That's where you see all of my stuff in there. So you can you can do a lot of searches there by the letter first letter like that or you can do like custom search right here so anyway check it out guys uh let me know what you think all right thank you for watching bye 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 now